Okay guys, uh, today's video I'm going to be using a, uh, a service monitor in tracking generator mode with a directional coupler to look at the return loss um, of a, um, a crystal filter for a receiver. And uh, I'm going to go over um, how to uh, measure the uh, bandwidth of the uh, filter and uh, also, I'm going to go into how the uh, directional coupler works. It uh, it functionally does about the same thing as a as a return loss bridge, but it does it in a slightly different way with some different um, components and configurations. Um, I'm going to go into how this works with the uh, service monitor to get our sweep, and then I'll do a uh, demonstration of how to uh, measure the bandwidth. So let's start off with uh, having a look at the uh, our current uh, setup here. Um, what I have is I have my service monitor here and here's the coupler and here's the crystal filter and it's got a uh, 50 ohm dummy load screwed onto the back because uh, it needs to be terminated. and. Um, Real quick, uh, just a kind of um, a, a, a big overview of of how this uh, of how the service monitor does this is that um, in the uh, tracking generator mode, uh, the generator and the spectrum analyzer are synced together frequency wise. So whatever the generator puts out, the spectrum analyzer is looking at that frequency is dialed into that frequency uh, in real time to get a reaction of whatever is happening to that signal uh, out there in the world coming back. Um, so that's what makes the tracking uh, generator special and you can't really do this return loss uh, function uh, without, that, uh, without that option. Um, so anyway the, uh, the generator uh, sends out um, a sweep of signals uh, depending on the bandwidth you select um, over a range of frequencies and these come uh, they, they essentially go through the coupler without uh, much any loss and they um, go into the load uh, your your load whatever is out here um, whatever the load is is in tune and is 50 ohms with uh, with you um, that signal will get absorbed and stay with the uh, with the load um, whatever is not absorbed by the load will be reflected and have to go back to the generator to be dissipated as heat. Um, well that's where this uh, the directional coupler uh, does this little trick because uh, on the CPL port here it looks at a sniff uh, a minus 20 dB sample of what's coming back the reflected power. It blocks out what's going in this direction. You can see my cross here. Uh, but it uh, does allow the reflected power, uh, a small portion of it, to come off to be sampled to be looked at uh, over here by our spectrum analyzer. Uh, the rest of the reflected signal uh, has to uh, go back to the generator uh, to be um, absorbed as heat. Now, uh, if we had no load out here at all, it was just completely um, um, open, or even a dead short, they do both the same. I've tested, they both do the same thing. Uh, uh, open load or, or shorted load, all the power has to, goes back. And you can actually measure uh, the signal here at 20 dB down from the uh, output here. Uh, it does take a true 20 dB sample. So um, anyway, um, this uh, uh, the load out here will have a curve of all the energy that it gets absorbed, and what you see up here is the inverse of that curve, which is all the energy that was reflected. So um, what we're looking at here, the the, the top of the line here is um, uh, it blocked those frequencies. So whatever frequency you you come down here and look at the frequency, it blocked that frequency. Only when it got to this point did it allow uh, some of the power coming from the generator to be absorbed in the load. Uh, 
and here at the bottom point you can see uh, this would be where almost all of the power coming from the generator at this frequency would have been absorbed uh, by the load uh, and very little uh, reflected coming back. Um, so that's what this, this, that's what this visual indication is giving you. It's, it's letting you know um, the, the, the window size of frequencies that this filter will allow to pass through it. So um, now that we know the, the basic operation of it, let's go in and take a look at um, uh, if you needed to do a measurement and someone said, uh, how do you get the bandwidth, which is basically this little um, uh, window uh, between here. And where do you measure at? What's the official um, uh, uh, capture point? Uh, well, let me bring up this drawing to, to make a, uh, a reference to that. Um, you hear a lot in the, in the business about a 12 dB point. And tw what 12 dB uh, 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 means in the uh, worlds of like antennas uh, and things like that is the, the point to where um, the, the, the performance is guaranteed at that point. So uh, an antenna that's 12 deep, that has a return loss of 12 dB or better uh, is good. Um, uh, some might say might, their cutoff point might be 10 dB. So they say anything that's 10 dB or better is an okay antenna. Uh, but 12 dB is a, a real common uh, point use. That equates to uh, a 1.67 VSWR. And if you had a 100 watt radio, that would be like uh, uh, 94 forward and 6 reflected. So 6 watts reflected would be the maximum allowed. Anything above that the would not meet, the antenna would not meet spec. Uh, anything below it would be within spec. So this is our 12 dB uh, point that we're looking for. And we get this 12 dB number from uh, doing a measurement with no load whatsoever and we count down 12 dB from uh, with uh, no antenna, uh, no load whatsoever. So this is going to be our 12 dB crossover point right here. So uh, any, any uh, frequencies between here and here, the uh, crystal filter or the antenna or whatever the, uh, the device would be, would be um, uh, in tolerance or in spec at that point. So uh, we call this um, the, the amount of uh, frequency range that goes between 12 dB point to 12 dB point, it's bandwidth. Uh, so this would be its a effective usable level. Uh, now, so let's, uh, let's go back into the, uh, the one on the screen and I'll show you how that, that measurement is being done. Um, we're going to be looking at the, the level up here, this input level. This is the one that's going to be our, our reference point. And what I want to do is I want to come over and let's uh, get up the frequency here. And I'm going to go ahead and remove the load completely. All right, so um, at this point, when we're looking up here at our input level, we are at minus 55. So what we're going to be looking for is something that's um, 12 dB or lower than this reference point. So um, that would be minus 67 is our magic number that we're going to be looking for. So we know 67 is our number. So we're going to come back over here and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start adjusting the frequency and moving the display over and I'm going to wait until my center line crosses over this point where we get the, the minus 67 at. So let me bring it over here and I'm looking up here at my level as I'm, as I'm adjusting it and that's probably going to be me right there. If I go one more, yeah, that's too much. So, um, so there's my, my first 12 dB uh, crossover point. 
it would be at the frequency is 42189. So that's my, the high side of my uh, window here in my bandwidth. Now, if I keep on um, uh, cranking up the frequency here and moving it over, I want to I want to slide it over until I get to my other crossover point, and um, then uh, stop at that point, and that's it. Uh, One forty-two. Let's see. We need to go. Let's see, there it is, 42.17, and uh, one, yeah, oh, right there, there uh, minus 55, 72, there we go. Okay, that that's the one I want right there. Um, so this would be my, uh, my, my other side, let me get the uh, reference here, minus 55. Uh, yeah, so 72. So that's 171 on one and 189 on the other side. Um, 189 on the other side. So, yeah. Um, that'll be uh, um, a total bandwidth of 18 kilohertz. So a little bit less than one, one space here. Um, and it has a center of 42.18, uh, which is uh, what, exactly what the, 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 the filter is labeled. So that's, um, that's, the, um, that's how you find out the bandwidth is measuring at, well, what I would call the 12 dB bandwidth. Um, and um, yeah, all together, I would say the, uh, the it's a good, good performing um, crystal filter. It meets all the uh, specs, and um, that's a kind of a good uh, overview of uh, how to use the uh, the tracking generator with the uh, with a directional coupler. All right, hope that helps.